When Johannes Brol came to Grey College as the rector of the school in 1872, he saw the need for sport as an activity at the school. Since then, sport has developed tremendously at Grey and often people refer to Grey as a sports school, which is not true. It is a human school and sport is one of the tools we use to educate young people. Many years went by at Grey where we played on a cement pitch, even matches. But we played and we got better until people like Kepler Vessels came and Hansi Kronier and so many others. They came and changed the whole outlook of Grey as far as cricket is concerned. Since readmission into international sport, Ray College has produced the most wonder international cricketers for South Africa, more than any other school in the country. The likes of Kepler Vessels, Cory van Seil, Buta Dippenaar, Nicky Bouillet, Ryan McLaren, Victor Pitsang, Mornay van Wijk, Riley Rousseau and Piet van Bouillon. The foundation was laid at Grey College to become future stars. Phase one of the development started in 2016 when this was still an old shooting range. The first part of the development was to convert this into 12 grass nets uh, and made this something of the highest quality. Phase two was the development of the second set of nets and that was towards the end of 2018. Obviously COVID had an effect on the development of this facility where the first concrete was cast back in August 2019 and the first ball was only built in September 2021. The indoor centre was designed in such a way that it allows natural light to filter into the building without direct sunlight on the batting surfaces. The design of the roof also makes this a unique facility and allows air flow straight into the building which makes it the coolest place in summer and nice and cosy in winter time. Interesting enough, the cabling used for the net structure in the building is more than a kilometre and 61,000 bricks were used to build this facility. Not only did we want a facility that was aesthetically pleasing, but also a facility that featured a combination of components that has never been seen before. The Great College Cricket Institute consists of a variety of aspects. Mainly three cricket ovals, which is adjacent to the indoor centre, 21 artificial nets, which is outdoors, plus the 18 grass or turf nets in the complex just alongside the indoor centre as well. Indoors, this Great College Cricket Institute consists of six lanes, which can convert into seven lanes depending on the volume that we have and, and for specific skills that we'd like to make use of. The lighting indoors is exceptional. We wanted to make sure that the lighting was really strong and it can produce uh, about 1,100 lux at the batter's area. The pitch and the, and the surface area was really a big focus here and to try to resemble a surface that was as close to what players have outdoors. We make use of silica sand as well, which we can control the pace of the pitch, but also the amount of spin. So we can make use of that silica sand depending on how much turn we want to use. The run-up area is a 40 mil uh, artificial surface combined with rubber, which tries to obviously accommodate the working loads of the bowlers to absorb the shock and to make sure that, there's, that we prevent injuries from that point of view. Regarding the netting, the nets are white, um, which obviously helps with the, the lighting indoors as well, that provides a, quite a nice clean appearance. Um, but they're also added at, at, at a height of about four and a half meters, which obviously creates a bit of space and, and gives the feeling of space um, indoors. An important aspect of, of our training center is obviously the use of technology. And this is where Pitch Vision has, has come in and played a massive part in the analysis aspect of the game. Um, here players are allowed to go and have their actions, batting and bowling recorded. Uh, where we can track their technique and their development and obviously try and use that as a correcting tool going forward. But that has played a massive part in the development of our players. As we pan around into the indoor centre, 
A big aspect of it as well is our training and conditioning facility that we have, where players can obviously come and do their conditioning sessions with a coach. Um, there's a big part of it as well, which is mobility and agility. Um, and, and this is another aspect which we felt is, is a big combination of, of every bit of preparation that the player needs. And then a massive aspect that we've really added to this centre, which we felt is, is much needed and sometimes underrated, is the Millen's Eye Style Centre. Eye health plays a greatly underappreciated role in sport performance. We understand this role and through the eye training platform, we can enable students to enhance their visual performance through eye training. The eyes, brain and body work together to form the ocular, motor, sensory system and vision training develops this system, yielding better balance, speed, accuracy and timing. In other words, precision. Sport vision training can help tailor the visual system to enhance the performance of athletes and refine sport vision performance indicators such as reaction time and hand-eye coordination. I trust that cricket and grey will go from strength to strength under these people and that this institute will raise the bar even further so that we can compete against the best in the world. This is a facility which is good enough for test cricketers and I'm very pleased to have been involved with Adrian, with Ryan and others to come as far as we are now.